Well, we've spent the last week exploring Scotland and we've honestly loved every single minute of it, just as much this time as the last. Everything from tasting whiskey, feeding red deer, exploring castles, taking in the, the amazing landscapes, meeting highland cows, and there's just so much more. But we are a little bit gutted because today is our last day, so all we want to do is eat as much Scottish food as we possibly can. So we've got some more well-known dishes planned, a couple of random options, and a few local favorites. But Scotland is actually really well known for its incredible restaurant scene as well. So we wanted to start things off with something a little bit classier and something we think is gonna be a really cool experience as well. So it all starts tonight at a chef's table at the Old Manse of Blair, which is where we're staying. We arrived just this afternoon and we were honestly welcomed with open arms by the family that owns this place. They have these big open fields out front. The building itself is really old school on the outside, really historic, and then on the inside, kind of traditional, kind of modern. But we're really looking forward to tonight though because we've never really had the chance to sit in with the chef and watch the whole process play out. And we just had a sneaky peek at the menu and it looks so good. Look at that smell of a real fire. Oh, already the, mm. the situation is looking very positive. So we're in the drawing room at the moment. Got the fire on and about to get some champagne to start the evening. So when it's called a chef's table, it really is actually a, a chef's table. <laughs> this is the setup. That's the chef Johnny in the background. Johnny, wanna say hello? <laughs> wow. Here is monkfish cheek, Ooh. which has been pannied and then just dried. So what we do next is you know, we've got some nice sweet crayfish tails. So we'll put these in the long this. Oh wow. I feel like all the cooking shows that I've watched have really paid off. Because I'm throwing you are out, so I'm much throwing more out these knowledgeable. ideas and just hoping for the best. And from somebody that doesn't watch a lot, a lot of cooking, but obviously appreciates good wine pairings with each of the individual meals that we're trying, the seafood that we just had, scallops, uh, monkfish and crayfish. It's eye-opening for me mm. being so close, getting to taste the food and then have a conversation about the preparation and what's going into it. Yeah, it really does make you appreciate it even more yeah. when you learn about the ingredients and how it's been cooked and everything. The plate that we've got now is the Perthshire lamb. It's a duo of lamb with cauliflower, gnocchi, and red wine jus. I'm not even joking when I say it quite literally just went, just like melted. I don't know how that's possible, Johnny, to be perfectly honest with you, but that is, that is absolutely delicious. Well, dessert was just as epic as the rest of dinner. We had this amazing apple kind of treat that was blowtorched right in front of us and came with some caramelized puff pastry and some homemade ice cream. Uh, and now we've found ourselves back in the other room and we've got cheese, crackers, grapes, port, dessert wine, the fireplace, and I've even got my own entertainment as well. day exploring and eating in Perthshire. Things are looking pretty nice in here. We're having breakfast right by the fire and I feel like the rain outside kind of makes it feel even more cozy. Breakfast isn't strictly Scottish but we're pretty happy. <laughs> I think this is very much what our morning is going to look like. Right here on this couch mm -hmm. wearing our comfortable slippers. I love these slippers. <laughs> They're so nice. Stokes is always the first person when we check in to have a look at it, like see if there's, is there a robe? Is there slippers I can put on? And you just always embrace it's the it. good stuff. It absolutely is. It's been a few hours. We've let most of that breakfast settle, but the, the food mission has to continue because just around the road is this place called the House of Brewer. And we've been told, the House of Brewer, we've been told by a few people that this is a spot to come. And looking at it now, it's people just walking around with their dogs. It's one of these outside, all of these little like markets, these shops. It's like a little village almost here. So there's a food hall and a restaurant and everything, but this is what we've come here for. We were told that we should consider the lobster, but we asked them, what's the most popular, what's like your go-to dish? And he said, it's the haddock and chips, so the fish and chips. So 
We've gone for that and then a scotch pie. And I don't know if I had this in frame yet, but and a good old iron brew. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. We wouldn't normally eat in the car, but I kind of forced us to because it's raining outside. It's gonna stink of fish. I'm going for the scotch pie. Brown beef and spices, yep. I think. I got the fish and chips. The old classic. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> Not planned. It's different to what I thought. I think I was expecting, even though he said ground. It looks like just mints. Mm, but it doesn't kind of taste like mints. It is really delicious though. The spices in there are really perfect. There's just a little bit of fat giving it some of that richness to it. Oh, look at you. Sure. <laughs> we got so caught up on the pie because that was the new and exciting thing. I forgot to mention the fish. It's really light, really fresh, super, super crunchy. I love the crunch. And it looked really oily when it came out, but it doesn't taste oily at all. No, I think the thing that I'm, I'm picking up um, not so much with the pie, but definitely. Did you hear that? <laughs> definitely with the with the chips as well as the fish. Is that this stuff almost? It almost tastes healthy. You know what? You know what I, I mean? know what you like, mean. It's, like it's not oily. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. been a bit touch and go as to whether or not we were going to be able to stop in Kreef, where we are now. Go to the Drummond Gardens? Drummond Castle Gardens. So we've seen pictures online and it looks beautiful. Almost like what you see on The Sims. Perfectly, Perfectly manicured. Ma yeah, I was going to say the same thing. But it has been very rainy on the way. It would pour down and we were like, oh, we can't go. And then it would dry up. <laughs> oh, yes, we have to go. <laughs> so we have made it, but it's been a beautiful drive with all the mist through the mountains and everything again, yeah. through the rolling hills. It's really been fun having the car again and just exploring. Yeah, it gives you so much freedom. So much of an adventure. So anyway, we're in the grounds now, only spitting a little bit, but we've got the jackets yeah. on just to be safe. It's hoods mm. up, I think. This is very impressive. I thought you had to be a certain age to appreciate a garden, but I don't think you do. No. This is huge. The scale, I don't know if it'll come out on camera, but it's almost overwhelming. I don't really know where to look. As a designer, I can only imagine how... <sighs> the symmetry is just giving me life. <laughs> giving me life? <laughs> wow. <laughs> and the condensed milk. So is it, so it's a kind of fudge thing? It's harder than fudge, yeah. And fudge is more softer. This is harder. Okay. And it's like a very Scottish Yeah, okay. very okay. Scottish. It smells so good. I think it's good that we've eaten while we came in. I know. If I came in here on an empty stomach, it'd be very dangerous. <laughs> been a rainy past couple of hours we had to bust a move pretty quickly from the gardens mm -hmm. especially walking around with cameras and stuff but there's so much more history and things that I would have liked to have tackled but we kind of we had to make a, a last ditch run for it. On the way back we stopped in Creef at a sweet shop and we bought three things. This is probably the most Scottish thing. Iron brew flavoured macaroon. Apparently tablet is a very Scottish thing. I've never heard of it. Scottish I just it was fudge. butter tablet. Mm. And, and some whiskey chocolate balls. <laughs> right, I'm going for the fudge. No, I'm going for the tablet. Oh, you're gonna get in trouble. <laughs> it smells like fudge, I gotta be honest. I don't wanna offend anybody. I've got the iron brew thing. Cheers. Mm. This is hard. Mm. No? Mm -mm. You I like iron brew though, right? I think this belongs in a can. The tablet just tastes like a much firmer, crumblier um, fudge. A final whiskey tasting. Whiskey bottles. Yes. Mm. There's actual whiskey in that. Woo! Lucky you're not driving anymore. <laughs> it's honestly just like a perfect milk chocolate with with whiskey in there. Mm. 
It's a good combination. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The hospitality has been the biggest thing for me this time. The hospitality and the friendliness. The two things are just Scottish people to a T. I think that the landscapes as well this time around have been incredible. Like the big, uh, mm. the big mountains or Munros. Mm. We've really enjoyed ourselves. Last time we were here, we got a few comments from people saying, "Hasty back." <laughs> we came back, and hopefully, we'll be back again. 